Getting ready to move the dry cows and heifers out of their paddock into a new paddock. Uh, this is the last day that we're gonna be doing leader follower grazing. So we do some leader following grazing in the spring and early summer where we'd have the milk cows go through and graze first. And then we follow with the heifers and dry cows. So this particular pasture here is field number eight. Hasn't been mechanically harvested or had a disbine or anything go across it since 2015. Um, it's only been grazed since then. So you can see there's a lot of headed out grass, uh, dry grass sticking up. And, uh, still out in the same field. Got a straggler over here. Must have gotten out the fence. Uh, we also follow the uh, dry cows and heifers then with uh, poultry of some sort. So here we got chickens. Uh, the milk cows have the ducks following them right now. So these guys live out here at this little house. We'll drag that uh, into the paddock right behind where the cows will be at for tomorrow. And uh, so we use them to sanitize the pastures, scrape apart cow patties, eat bug larva, eat whatever else they want. We eat their eggs. Um, in the future, we're gonna have to have a larger chicken building because this one doesn't hold enough chickens. We're, we're not sure what their magic number is gonna be. But we figure we're gonna need somewhere around 10 to one chickens to cows. Right now we've got 30 or 40 chickens. And that is a mineral bunk, but there's salt and uh, loose mineral in there. Here's the cows walking over to their new pasture. Here's a video of what the pasture looks like that the cows just came into. A lot of red clover, looks like a lot of dandelions, uh, a little bit of chicory, uh, this is headed out grass is timothy. Once we get a little bit further to the east, uh, it's going to be eastern gamma grass and switchgrass. And we're planning to mob graze this, or close to mob grazing. Uh, we're putting them on about a third of an acre, um, a little less, maybe a quarter of an acre. 